Hello everybody and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm here at Gold Coast Coolangatta International Airport. I'm here at the domestic terminal and today I'm going to be flying Jetstar on board that Airbus A321neo from here in Gold Coast down back home to Melbourne. I actually just flew up on the Airbus A321. I'm doing this trip because I like flying and it was really, really cheap. Um, which I'll tell you more about later. But that's why I'm already through security since I just got off the plane. So I have my boarding pass. Uh, the crew have been very friendly in helping me out with like getting on easier and stuff. I'm traveling by myself today and they said that I can um, just head right through and skip the line. So that's cool. But yeah, this is going to be a bit unusual since we're starting off already through here and I'm just about to head over there and board. My plane for today is Victor Hotel, Oscar Foxtrot Lima. It's a November 2022 delivered, to be exact. It was A321neo LR. It was delivered brand new to Jetstar. It was their second A321 to be delivered. Alrighty, I can already see people boarding it, so I should probably go over and follow them. But yeah, as I said, it's very easy. You don't really have to go through security here. So I just stepped off, I'm in the departures hall. And now let's get back on again. Just go through. Okay, thank you. This new renovated boarding area isn't too bad actually, it's just cramped. <laughs> yep, thank you. Here's a beautiful view of our aircraft. As I was saying, I think this the boarding area looks a little bit newer. Um, I have flown out of it many times before, but I think it's been somewhat newly renovated. Um, which means when you get cold, it's kind of like there's nowhere to sit, but it's, you know, it does the job. By the way, Jetstar has six of these A321neos. Neo LRs in the fleet, with another two to be delivered soon, and I think probably more, I believe more to come. These were here to just be, act as a new aircraft so they can launch new routes and also replace some of the aging Airbus A321COs. Hello again. Oh my god, you so, Sorry. How are you? Yeah. Ready to go? Pretty good, how are you? Thank you. Good, good, good. Alright, speak to you soon. Welcome aboard Jetstar's A321 Neo. This aircraft features 232 seats, I believe, in a 3 3 layout, all in economy. If I'm going to kindly ask you to only place those large wheelie bags up into the overhead locker wheels first and on their sides, please. Fine. My seat for today is 9 to F. Welcome on board the Jetstar Airbus A321neo. My seat for today is 9 F. I have a spectacular view over the wing and engine. The very um, nice sounding engines, I might add, on the new Neo. Now let's go through the seat features. I've actually, uh, I didn't do this for demonstration purposes necessarily, but I've already put some stuff in here. Uh, so this, there's actually 74 centimetres of legroom, or 29 inches. However, when you put something like this in there, then that's sort of how much you have. So it's, it's, I'm very short. Um, I'm about five foot, so it's very tight. But for someone, if you're very tall, then having something in here plus this, it would be very tight, but if you check it out, you have a lot more leg room, like that. And then just here, we have the tray table, which you can pull down. It looks relatively clean. 
you can pull it out and push it in. There's a cup slot, but it's not foldable. your seat as quickly as possible. Place your smaller personal belongings underneath the seat in front of you. And only your larger bags, wheels first, into an overhead locker. If your seat is in an exit row or at a bulkhead, you will need to put all of your personal belongings into the overhead lockers. There's also a USB port here so you can charge your devices, however there's no universal power socket. And just here you have a device holder, which is not the sturdiest, but it does the job. There's also a cup holder there. And there's also a literature pocket here, which includes the safety card, menu and sick bag. There's also a coat hook on the sides of each seat, so there's two, which is very generous. However, there is no headrest, which would get a bit painful for, say, a six hour flight from Melbourne to Bali, which this aircraft operated earlier today. But for a two hour flight, it's certainly something you can deal with. As for the seat padding, it's all right. It's pretty tough, but it's a low cost airline. So overall, solid seat features from Jetstar. Jets. Jetstar, their A320 Neos looked a lot more impressive before Bonza came along with their incredible seats. But it's still a pretty solid product, and the two don't really compete much. My name's Mark, your cabin Talking about Melbourne being disgusting, the hilarious. Absolute pleasure to welcome you on board. Now, flying us down to uh, Melbourne this morning is Captain Peter O'Brien, and alongside him is First Officer Josh Emsley. We have a flight time of one hour and 56 minutes. As you make yourselves comfortable, uh, just a reminder that smoking or the use of e-cigarettes is not permitted anywhere on board. Please ensure that your electronic devices are now in flight mode. Your handheld devices may be used during takeoff as long as they are in flight mode, of course. But all other larger devices, such as laptops, do need to be switched off and stored away now, please. And if you are travelling with little ones this morning, do take extra care when lying down armrest. Everybody's on board now. We'll be on our way shortly. Thanks for boarding so quickly. And once again, a very warm welcome on board. Please, please remain in your allocated seat for the duration of the flight. So if you do have any questions, please speak to one of the crew. We are more than happy to help where we can. Once again, please ensure that your mobile devices are definitely in flight mode now and all seatbelts are firmly fastened, including infants and children. And we thank you for respecting each other and our crew to ensure a safe and comfortable flight. We also ask you to report any unacceptable behaviour to a member of the crew. Thank you. Thank you through the safety requirements for our Airbus A321neo. Your crew are highly trained to help keep you safe. So make sure you listen to and follow their instructions. By lifting the buckle flap. The seatbelt is most effective when worn low, tight, and throughout the entire flight. Make sure you're familiar with the brace position best suited to your seat. The onboard safety instruction card in your seat pocket shows pictures of your brace position along with other important safety information and two at the back of the cabin. Lights will illuminate, showing you the path to follow to these exits. If we need to leave the aircraft quickly, taking your personal items with you will slow you down, so please leave everything behind. If a mask like this appears from above you, pull it down firmly to start a supply of oxygen. Quickly put it over your mouth and nose and breathe normally. Keep the mask in place by fitting and tightening the strap down on the red tag. You can top up your life jacket by blowing into this mouthpiece. The life jacket also has a whistle and a light to attract attention. There are emergency escape and flotation devices accessible from each exit and life rafts at the rear of the aircraft. By law, you must not tamper with or remove any aircraft equipment unless authorised. You must comply with any instructions from our crew and any signs that you see on board. Smoking is not permitted anytime, anywhere on board the aircraft. And we hope you have an enjoyable flight. Thanks for listening.
security on our way. The seatbelt sign is still switched on, so please remain seated. Under the turned off, please limit your movements around the cabin and do not change seats unless speaking to one of the crew. Toilets are located at each end of the cabin and aft in it with baby change tables and smoke detectors. So a reminder that smoking, vaping and e-cigarettes are not permitted anywhere on board. We also recommend that you do keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated. And when opening an overhead locker, please do take care that items don't fall out, causing injury to you or a fellow passenger. We'll surely be coming through the cabin with our in-flight service. You'll find a menu in your seat pocket which does contain a variety of options. Now we do only accept credit card as payment. We accept all major credit cards, but please be mindful that we do require the physical card for your purchase today. So if you do need to get those cards out for bags in the overhead locker, please do so as soon as the seatbelt sign is switched off. We're unable to accept payment uh, using mobile phone, uh, PayWave or Apple Pay. So please have that physical card ready together with your order for the crew. You are welcome to order alcoholic beverages, but they are only available for purchase from cabin crew. Now please sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. It's a beautiful day for flying, so enjoy the uh, view. And if the crew can be of any assistance at all, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Team, would like to welcome you on board. Just in the uh, later stages of our climb up to cruise level 34,000 feet, expecting mostly smooth flying conditions today. Um, just for your safety and those around you, while you are seated, please do keep your seatbelt fastened. Uh, expecting a flight time today of around about uh, two hours. Um, which should get us touching down, uh, our flight computer says here at uh, 1.40 this afternoon, however, uh, Melbourne does have a uh, closed runway, so we're anticipating uh, a few delays as we get uh, closer to Melbourne, possibly up to something like 10 minutes. Uh, conditions there, it's uh, the rain this morning is clearing, but it's only a high of 15 degrees, a uh, lot of southerly breeze. On behalf of all the team, uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for joining us today. It's our pleasure to bring you south. We do look forward to seeing you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, so we're now up here at our cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. Um, the crew just came around and I decided to get a banana bread and a coffee with milk. The crew, I had them on the way up too, they are absolutely amazing. Um, which is something, I'll be honest, I don't normally expect from Jetstar, but the crew, all the crew for the whole trip today have been absolutely amazing. So big thumbs up for Jetstar there. I'll let you know how the banana bread tastes in a minute. And here's my coffee. Let's check out the banana bread. Here's my banana bread. Let's give it a taste. It's still quite cold. It's a little bit dry, but overall, it's just a lot of banana bread. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm very happy with the Jetstar meal service. I've gone through it many times before. You can pause and read this. The prices are pretty solid, um, they're not anything really special. Bonds is a little bit cheaper, but overall, it's pretty good. And they have a very nice variety of things to choose from, including, combo, including combos, and I went for this one. restricted from entry into state and territories throughout Australia. These items must be placed into the quarantine bins as you enter the terminal building. Quarantine detector dogs operate in some terminals. Thank you. Deep pocket for any rubbish or items you won't be taking with you and hand them to one of the team members as they move through the cabin. Thank you. This will take the cabin for landing. Based off that announcement and the fact that it looks like we're going down, I do believe we started our descent into Melbourne Telemarine International Airport. Window shade and stow your tray table. Place your belongings either under the seat in front of you or into an overhead locker. We ask that you take a moment to review the location of your nearest exits. The cabin crew team will now be seated for landing. Thank you.
Okay then, we're back in dark and gloomy old Melbourne. I think it's now about time that I do a bit of a conclusion on today's trip report. Well, I'm going to start concluding from where this video's journey started at Gold Coast Coolangatta International Airport. When I left, there's something that they need to do, because um, I'm 14 and when you're travelling by yourself between the age of 12 and 15, you don't have to be an unaccompanied minor, but you have to still have some some code thing on your boarding pass, which is like young person travelling alone, YPTA. They have to add that to my boarding pass and I didn't have time to do it in Melbourne or anything. So they did that for me right as I got off the flight and then went and started a new trip report and just had a walk around for a minute and then got straight back on the plane. And since I was travelling by myself, they said I could um, very kindly um, just skip the queue. Half the passengers had already boarded anyway, but that was very nice. The ground staff were very friendly, and the crew on board are probably the best jet stock crew I've had, I've ever had. They were so so friendly, um, and the captain and the uh, first stop. So I don't know what you mean. I didn't meet them from, but from what it sounds like, in the cabin manager and everyone, um, it was just absolutely incredible on this flight and my journey up. Um, the aircraft itself. I love the A321 now, it's a beautiful aircraft, nice engine noise, pretty quiet, especially in front of the engine, which is weird, it's quieter here than behind the engine for a lot of the flight, and the the only letdowns really are the um, seat back padding being very limited and they're not being headrest, but otherwise I had a fabulous flight with Jetstar today, considering it cost me only 39 Australian dollars to book this ticket. I booked it during a sale, but you can commonly get it for 49 or 59. It was an absolutely incredible experience today, and I wish that I could confidently say that every Jetstar experience is like this. As for what's the best option, if you can get Jetstar on a sale, then it's, as I said, 49.59. I'm trying to remember what it's like when it's not on a sale. In fact, it's often about $65 anyway, so it's this Rouge is pretty cheap, and Jetstar is always the cheapest, really. Um, and Rex start from $89.99, and Virgin starts from $90 as well. But the Virgin fare, that is kind of the same cost as Rex, tends to not include baggage. So, I'm going to keep that in mind. And Qantas costs about $170 on this route, which is a little bit too much, I think. If it was $130, which is what it is when it's on sale, then maybe, but um, yeah, it's just far too much for Qantas. To be honest, I think the best, the two best value options are Rex, if you're looking for a cheaper, but still very, um, but still a pretty good experience with a snack and everything, um, and or Jetstar, is a great option if you're just looking to get there as cheap as possible with a safe and um, solid airline. Um, as far as low-cost carriers go, or as, especially as far as Jetstar flights go, um, I had a great experience today. So, for this, for, based off this experience, I would recommend Jetstar. Based off others, mm, not so sure. But yeah, make what you will of this trip report. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that we're going to be arriving a little bit early and also the uh, in-flight meal service was pretty good as well. Anyways, enjoy the landing into Melbourne Tullamarines International Airport. I think we're landing on runway 16, which is from the north.
with Dr. Buttery Smooth Landing. Welcome to Melbourne. Welcome to Melbourne, everybody. The local time has just gone uh, 20 minutes to 2 p.m. And so we're a good uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes ahead of schedule. Good job, everyone. Firstly, Jed Stark would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the local lands of the Wurundjeri people. We'd also like to pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. Please do keep your seatbelts fastened and remain seated until the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Smoking, vaping and e-cigarettes are strictly prohibited on the tarmac and inside the terminal building. Before you head off, double check you've got everything with you and be careful opening those overhead lockers in case items have moved during the flight. They may fall out, causing injury to you or a fellow traveller. Once again, uh, thank you for flying with Jetstar today. It's been an absolute pleasure to bring you down to Melbourne. If you are visiting this beautiful city, despite the weather, hope you enjoy your stay. And if you are lucky enough to live here like we are, welcome home. Thanks again, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the afternoon here in Melbourne. I think we're waiting for something. I'm not sure why we're sitting here, because I'm pretty sure this isn't a gate. However, I could be very wrong. Again, everyone, for your safety and those around you, please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the captain switches off that seatbelt sign. Thank you. Terminal. Have a lovely afternoon in Melbourne. Now time to do some work. Bye bye. Thank you. Wow, it's still freezing cold here in Melbourne, but a little bit better than this morning. I think now's a good time for me to finish up today's trip report. First of all, see ya. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for watching today's video. A like and subscription if you enjoyed would be very much appreciated, but it's not necessary nor expected. But if you'd like to and you wouldn't mind, it would help me out a little bit. Also, check out my website if you like at aviation763.com for information on upcoming flights and easier navigation to specific airlines trip report. Or or trip reports. Also, if you like, check out. Oh, there's another Neo. That's um, Oscar Foxtrot Lima. And there's ours. Also, check out my Instagram if you like, where I do live updates of flights like I did today um, at aviation763 underscore. Give me a follow there if you want, so you can see some cool photos and live updates, but you don't have to. Um, but if you're interested, then it is there. Also, last but most certainly not least, thank you to all my incredible Patreons who help to make these videos possible. Your support is so, so much appreciated, and I couldn't do what I do without you. Their names will be on screen now, and once again, thank you so much to them. Once again, thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you have an amazing day, and I look forward to hopefully seeing you in my next one. Welcome to Melbourne, everybody. The local time has just gone uh, 20 minutes to 2 p.m., and so we're a good uh, 10 minutes.